Hey, and welcome to a quick little in-between episode of Wrench. Hope you're doing great. I just wanted to quickly introduce you to a new member of the family. Say hello to the beast. This giganto badass compressor is about 50 years old. It's actually just about as old as I am. And it is a monster. It was in a gas station for many years. It's made by a company called Champion. I wanna say it's their like V15 or F15 or something like that. But five horsepower motor, 22.5 CFM at 175 PSI. Now the origin story is I was driving out of my neighborhood and I kept seeing this thing in the garage of my neighbor and it was just like, he had a little gym set up, but this thing was in the corner and I thought, why is that in the corner of the garage? Is he doing uh, major air tool stuff? As I get deeper into the body and finishing side of this car, I need like some powerful air tools. So I just asked him like, what is this thing doing? And he said, oh, it's just been sitting for five years. And I said, well, what if it was sitting in my house instead of yours? He said, let's do it. So we managed to get this giant thing over here yesterday. Um, I bought a plug for it. It's actually got, just got an open socket right now. So I've got to put a 220 plug on it. And if it works, uh, then I'm gonna pressure wash it and it's gonna be part of the fam for a while. So I thought instead of just doing it, I would take you guys with me. So let's hook this plug up and see if it works. These plugs are kind of cool. They're kind of universal and you gotta put them together and put all the pins in correctly. All right, let's start with the ground, the grizzy. Okay, figure one. Here we are with this bad boy. This is gonna go in here like this. Pop that where it's supposed to be. Give me a little red action. Ha! Red action. There you go. Good douche. Good douche. I hope it's not gonna like interfere with each other. Okay, ground is in, and then according to this diagram, black is big and red is small. Uh, of course, I have another diagram online that shows it to be exactly the opposite. So, great. That's perfect. Thank you, multiple people. Right, let me look one more time here and see if I can find the correct diagram. Because, come on now. Oh, it really doesn't matter, I guess. They're both hot. It's a hot, hot ground, so each one is split. So it probably doesn't matter, but let's uh, just do it the right way, right? That's one down. And give me this bad boy. Get yourself in here, little fella. There you go. You go to your house now. Get yourself all wired up. There you go. Eh. All right, now this cover, it's a, like it feels like it's not snapping into place. Why is that? You should be hanging out and just enjoy yourself, you guys. You're in your new house now. Just hang out and be there. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, there aren't they? There you go. There you go, mate. Yeah. All right, mate. How you going, mate? Barbara? I don't feel like that's upside down, but all right, whatever, dude. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, that's correct. Okay, fine. I don't mind. I don't get commission. Oh, yeah, that sinks. That uh, actually settles in much better. All right, so let's flip this sucker over then. It's what happens when you're a beginner. You don't know what the hell you're doing. You just do it until something breaks or your house catches on fire. Then you learn your lesson, I guess. Keep the fire extinguisher handy. That's the lesson. Oh yeah, come on, get in there. Get in there, you're there, right? Just go, go to your house. There you go. There it is. All right, All right cool. This is nice, it already has a uh, pressure regulator on it, which is cool. And a, a stopper, which is cool as well. So I can turn it on or off. And then there's a drain on the bottom. Harbor Freight filter the other day for my other setup. All right, here we go. Not gonna lie, this is slightly nerve wracking. I, I mean, just from the fact that I've never hooked up a 240 before and the thing that looks like it could take off and, 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 and power an airplane. So here we go. Okay, okay. Working. Not gonna lie, I'm legit letting that thing fill 
and I'm getting away from it while it's doing so, just because I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> so uh, the plug's holding up. I got a big long extension cord on it right now. Um, here, what we'll do while uh, we're doing this, I have finished the transition here and the drip rails. Oh, they are so buttery smooth, you guys. If you could only feel, this is Feelovision. Feelovision, pre-primer, but oh, they just feel spectacular. <laughs> Well, it works and it works great. I hooked up my new air sander that I got from Harbor Freight, the one that's like a hundred bucks, the Baxter one. It's really good actually. And ran it for like 90 seconds, just rah, and it was great. Didn't even think about it. So now that I know the thing works, it's time to clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna nuke it with probably simple green and some degreaser, get the pressure washer on it, move it out, gunk, 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 to the middle of that area and clean the thing up a bit. One thing it's doing is kind of shredding a belt and I think that it's probably just dry rotted. The belt has been there for five years and it's probably just a little old and not working very well. So anyway, let's clean it up. All right, we are clean as a whistle now. Look at that. I didn't take off too much of the stickers. The Champion one suffered a little bit, but um, this has just still got this really great old patina, but now it's just not covered in oil and grease. So now it looks pretty good. I'm gonna let it dry for a few minutes and then get it back into its permanent home. Gonna have to look at these belts though. They are pretty shredded and I do not think they are going to last very long. All right, so psyched you guys. Got a chance to meet the new member of the garage. I'm gonna dry this thing off, get it back into where it's supposed to be, and then rock it like a hurricane. Thanks for hanging out for this little in-between episode, and we'll see you on the next show.